little space in my closet. So I don't know how much I can film, but I'm getting ready to pull this out. I'm actually gonna paint this another color. This is going in my office. This is old and beat up, but it's gonna get a fresh coat of paint. And I'm gonna pull it out where I'll see it every day and use it. So all of that is full all my jewelry well not all of it because i have jewelry up there too i really want one of those full length mirrors that you open and your jewelry goes in but i'm not going to spend any money because i already got this so i'm going to pull it out and i'm going to show you what i'm going to put in its place okay now that i pull it out i'm going to clean out from under it and then these two are going right here to make room for more storage that's going under there. Whew. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. out now i just got to figure out what i'm going to do which one of those i'm going to keep and what i'm going to give away because i haven't even looked in that box all winter for maybe two times for something specific so gotta go through there i moved those two containers over here i'm too close i moved them over here when i put them together i messed up the thing that goes in the middle I have no idea where it is if I come across it I'll get my husband to try to fix it but uh yep that's what that looks like so far got space up there and I got space for storage down here. So now I'm gonna start bringing stuff in. So far, this is what I got to donate, guys. Not that bad, but all of this. Hats, clothes, a few shoes, skirts. Those are Crocs I only wore one time, they're too small.
Okay, family, as you can see, I've really got too much going on in this video, but I have too much going on in my house all at one time. And honestly, this is an old video from last week. This week, I haven't done anything. I just needed to rest. But I just wanted to show you what I do when I have a large pile of laundry, which is normally the case. The first thing I do is I go through the whole pile and I separate. I try to do shirts in one pile pants in another pile and then I have two piles on the other side one is like towels sheets things like that the other one is underwear socks night clothes etc so I just go through and separate everything and then I start folding each pile individually here I'm folding the tops uh, when I fold I put as I fold I create piles so my shirts, his shirts, my sweatshirts, his sweatshirts. And I divide the shirts and the sweatshirts because they go in separate places. So I have in my head where I know they need to go, how they need to go, how they need to be stored. And I fold them and put them in piles, in piles accordingly. The next thing is pants. And one thing I always notice, maybe I get confused when I'm separating. I don't know. But I always notice that I have shirts mixed in in that pile, too. So if you see shirts, that's why. He wears shorts under his sweatshirt, sweat pants at work. So he'll have a pile of shorts, a pile of pants. I'll have a pile of pants and work uh, exercise pants, etc. So as I go through and I fold them, as I stated, I separate them according to how they are stored. So I can just grab a pile and put that whole pile where it needs to go versus when I get to the dresser or wherever it's stored, having to separate it again. And that normally works for me. Now that I've gotten that side done, I'm going to come around and start on sheets. I'm going to sp spare myself the embarrassment of folding the fitted sheet on camera. We'll just move on. This huge pile here is normally another pile that I'll break down. Uh, sleepwear in one pile, socks in one pile, underwear in another. Um, a lot of that stuff doesn't even get folded. I don't fold my underwear, my bras, my socks, etc. But they do go in separate drawers. Well, I do fold my socks, sorry. But my underwear and bras and stuff, I don't fold. But they do go in separate drawers. So um, what I like to do is separate them before I move them. So it's just easier to grab a pile of bras, put them in their drawer, a pile of underwear, put them in their drawer, etc. And then I'll start folding the socks, put them where they need to go, move on to the night clothes, etc. My husband does, normally doesn't have pajamas and stuff, but I have nightgowns and pajama shorts, etc. And I do fold those. I put those up and then I start on the towels nothing really special to see here I'm just folding the towels and I'll fold the towels and washcloths and put those up and that's really the end of my laundry routine but you'll be happy to know that since I filmed this video I've started doing laundry a different way if I do a load I'll wash it I'll dry it and I'll go to the dryer and fold them as they come out of the dryer and put them in a basket so that's been working. I don't have a huge pile of clothes this week. That has made me extremely happy. I used to do it like that before. I just got lazy. Laundry is one of those chores that I just really don't like to do. But anyway, we get better. We improve as we go along. So thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I just wanted to get rid of this film that I had laying around and share with you uh, my routine for when things get out of whack. I know everybody has a routine, a different routine. So share with me in the comment section below what your routine is for getting rid or getting all of that laundry done uh, the quickest way. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sharing. See you in the next video.